Good day, grade 12 students. It's Mr. O from Guidance here with a quick, quick recap on researching university options. Typically, at this stage of the game, we are strongly encouraging students to visit the campuses of the schools that they are considering going to next year. Unfortunately, campus visits are not possible at this time, but it is, it is important to know that the Ontario universities are working hard to offer you and your parents a virtual experience. In the next seven minutes or so, I'll you how to navigate the Ontario University Information website, specifically highlighting how to register yourself for virtual, a virtual experience with the school. Let me begin by sharing my screen. OK, I have loaded the OU Info website. This is a very valuable web website for any students who are thinking about applying to post-secondary university after high school. If you click here where the university tab is, you will see a list of the schools. All of the Ontario universities are listed. I will walk you through a couple of examples, but please take the time to navigate your way through this part of the website. Let's start with Western University. I'll come over here and click on Western. You will see Western has three fabulous choices. You can click on Campus Life for interesting videos about campus life. You can click on Programs to research the many programs that Western offers. But for today, I'm going to walk you through the interactive presentations. Western University has a number of interesting presentations that you can attend virtually. The first one here, Choose Western on the left hand side, is where I would recommend you begin. I'll read this quickly for you. Let's create a framework to compare your options and help you understand why Western could be the right place for you. We'll talk about Western's location and campus, programs, experiences, community, and more. Is Western the right school for you? In order to sign up for one of these sessions, you simply pick the date and time that, of the session that you're interested in um, attending, click there. We'll fill out the registration form, which will ask for your name and your email address for the most part. And as soon as you hit register, you will hear a ding because you will receive an email um, thanking you for signing up. And that email will provide the link that you need to join this session on the date and time that you selected. Please be sure to write this down in your calendar so that you don't miss it. Um, if you have time, I would encourage you to look over here under the career section of this Western website. Here you could also sign up for um, webinars that talk about, well, essentially that answer the question, what will I do, do with a degree in STEM, business, health, or the arts? Um, I, I believe this will be a very valuable uh, webinar as well for those students who are, who are pretty sure they know what they want to study, but wondering where that could lead when they're done. Now I'm going to move on to a different university. So back up here, I will click on universities and I will scroll down and this time I will try Ryerson. So I click on Ryerson University and we have the same pretty display with the three options. We are going to click on the visit and tours. Okay, for visit and tours, um, essentially looking for more opportunities to connect with us online, we're creating a number of virtual opportunities and experiences designed so you can learn from and engage with our community from home. Uh, please note the page will be frequently updated as new initiatives are confirmed. This is important to remember with all of these websites. They're being updated pretty much daily. I'm going to click here on the go to Ryerson at home. On the right hand side here, we can see that Ryerson is offering a virtual open house, webinars, tours, visits and meetings, as well as um, Instagram. If we scroll down, very first thing you'll notice is the virtual open house. It says the September virtual open house has passed. No need to worry. If we read further, we will see that session recordings will be posted later in October to the website. So if you missed the um, September virtual open house, it's OK. They will post the recordings from that. Or you can also check back here later and register for the November virtual open house. To scroll down a bit, right down past these webinars, all the way down to here, virtual information session for Ontario students and their parents. If you are just beginning your research, I would recommend that you and your parents sign up for an information session, a virtual information session on one of these days. Again, you simply click on the um, session that you're interested in, fill out your name, email address, and um, you will receive a confirmation email within a minute. If you are pretty confident that you want to go to Ryerson and you know which program you're interested in, you may want to scroll up here to the webinars 
So these are program presentation webinars. For example, if you know you're interested in image arts, film studies and photography studies, you might want to register for the October 1st um, hour and a half webinar about that specific program. OK, now back to the Ontario University's main page. Western and Ryerson seem pretty simple and they are for the most part. Um, and actually, most of these universities are set up similar to that. However, please note that some universities have not made it quite so user friendly yet. Um, I will give you an example. I'll walk through Guelph with you because Guelph is not set up quite the same. So again, I'm going to click on the University of Guelph. I don't have the same pretty option to, um, to click for a virtual experience. So in this case, we have to do some navigating throughout the website, but I have the utmost confidence in each of you. I'll walk through Guelph with you. So let's click on visit our website. OK, and from here I'm going to click on this tab called events. Again, we'll see a number of options here. The fall preview day has passed. It was last weekend. However, note that a recording of the session will soon be available again. Um, and they're doing another fall preview day on November 8th. So stay tuned for more information about how to register. Like I said, it's updating daily. OK, the part that I'm going to recommend for you today is to sign up for a liaison presentation. This is what I highly recommend for students in the early stages of, of their university research. Um, webinar series, that's another option that you can um, definitely sign up for. They will soon be announced as well. There's individual meetings with a liaison officer. This I would recommend for students who have narrowed Guelph down as one of their top choices and have some very specific questions about Guelph programs, campus, scholarship, residence perhaps. OK, I just want you to follow along with me here. I'm going to pretend that I'm registering for a liaison presentation, so I'm going to click register here. Scroll down, <clears throat> I'm going to pick October and let's say I want to sign up for Wednesday, October 7th. I'm going to sign up for the 4 p.m. presentation. Simply, I have to say how many students are attending, put in my email address and again, within a minute I will receive a confirmation and I can come to that presentation. All right, going back actually here to the Guelph website for just a second. University of Guelph, just to show you that even though it's not highlighted right at the beginning, you can still um, navigate your way through here. If I go to visit the website under campus tours, check this link out as well. Um, they have virtual campus tours you can take. You can watch YouTube videos of the residence rooms of student housing services. Um, yeah, just lots of lots and lots of opportunities for you to uh, virtually experience the different campuses throughout Ontario. OK, now I'm just going to shut off the share screen here for a moment. All right, just to conclude, um, that's it for today, folks. I want to thank you for taking the time to um, watch this presentation, and I'm going to strongly encourage you to take the time to look through some of these presentations, um, these virtual experiences that the universities have put out there for you. If you have any questions, feel free to email your guide or sign up for a guidance appointment through the BHN Hub. Stay well.